If you work with digital images a lot, then you're probably familiar with the way that most cameras will process or name uh, the images that it takes. Usually it's a few letters with a date uh, followed by some sequence number. And that's not always practical, especially when you're dealing with a lot of photos and a lot of photos very often. One of the things you want to perhaps do is try to better organize your files. And in a previous lesson, I showed you tips when importing images from a digital camera on how you can name the uh, folder as well as uh, name the files. But with batch renaming here in Adobe Bridge, we can actually be more efficient uh, at renaming files in those folders and have a little or a couple of extra tools to help us. So what I want to do for this lesson is show you how to batch rename files. In order to activate the batch renaming process, I first have to select all of the images within this folder or pane. I'm going to do that by selecting the first image or thumbnail that I see in this content pane. And then I'm going to hit Control A on my keyboard to select all of them. And once I've done that, I can go up to the Tools menu and select Batch Rename. Now, by default, the batch rename is going to be on default. Or I could use the last used or use a string substitution. For now, I'm going to leave it at default. We're going to modify this a bit. The next allows me to select a destination folder, and I have three options. One, I can rename all of these images within the same folder, or I can move them to another folder, or copy them to another folder. And for this demo, I'm going to rename them in the same folder. Now, what I can do uh, is come down to the new files name, and here it gives me text by default. And I'm going to go ahead and select that, but I'm going to change this to investment. And if I want to, I can stamp a date time underneath that. But I'm going to keep it real simple for this demo, and I'm going to choose sequence number. And I'm going to get rid of these two extra ones. I don't need all that nomenclature there in the file name. So if I select that minus button, I can get rid of them. And if I just so happen to change my mind, I can always select the plus button to add another one, but I'll go ahead and take it away. Now, I've got less than 100 images here, so I'm going to select two digits, and I'm going to start the sequence number at one. Under the options, I can choose to preserve the current file name in XMP metadata, which would appear over here, but I'm going to go ahead and skip that option, and down below it gives me a preview of what the current file name is and what it's going to look like when I'm done. If I like this setup and I tend to use it a lot because maybe I'm working with a lot of digital images, I can choose to save this preset. So the next time I come in here to do this, I can just select it and I'm good to go. But in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and rename them. And now I've simply renamed all the images within that folder. So next time I'm looking for an image for investment properties or any of the alike, now I know where I can find them. 